Hello, and welcome back to Kim Reads as we continue with Louis Braille. The Alphabet of Dots. Louis tried not to waste a single minute. Even when he was home at vacation, he worked on his dots. Often his mother would pack him a lunch of bread and cheese and fruit, and would wander out to sit on some sunny hillside. Other times he sat by the side of the road, bent over his paper and board. There is Louis making his pin pricks, the neighbor said with a smile as they passed. Asked, what was he doing? Was it some kind of game? The blind boy was trying to keep himself busy. Lewis tried to explain. He just went on punching his pattern of dots. At home in Coupe Louis had plenty of time, free time to work on his experiments. At school, it was not nearly so easy. There were so many other things to do. Louis had to go to class. He had to spend an hour or two in one of the workshops every day. He had to practice his music and do his homework. He had to eat meals with the rest of the boys, or someone would come looking for him. But Louis still found time to work on his ideas. He worked in bits and pieces. He worked before breakfast and between the classes. He worked before dinner and late at night. That was the best time of all. The boys were asleep and everything was quiet. Hour after hour, Louis bent over his board, experimenting with different patterns of dots. Sometimes he got so tired he fell asleep sitting up. Sometimes he became so excited he forgot what time it was and worked until he heard the milk wagons rattling under the window. Louis would raise his head with surprise then, for he knew it was early morning. He had worked the whole night through again. Then Louis would travel to bed for, to nap for an hour or two before he had to get up yawning for breakfast in his first class. His friends became more and more worried about him. You never sleep. Half the time you forget to eat. And for what? A third boy snapped. A wild goose chase, that's what. Maybe you're right, Louis always answered them softly, and he kept working. Three years went by. Three years of hard work, of trying and not quite succeeding. Sometimes Louis got so tired he could hardly lift his hand. And sometimes he became very, very discouraged. Again and again, Louis had simplified Captain Bobier's patterns of dot. But still, they were not similar enough. No, reading with dots was still too hard. Were the boys right? Was this a wild goose chase? Men have been working on this problem for hundreds of years. Smart men, important men, older men. And one after another, they failed. Who did he think he was? What right did he have to think he could do better than they? Sometimes I think I'll kill myself if I don't succeed, Louis said to Gabriel. Louis had a new and very important and very different idea. It seemed so simple after he had it. Captain Bobier's night ran had been based on sounds. There were so many sounds in the French language. Sometimes it took almost a hundred dots to write out a simple word. This was far, far too many to feel, to feel easily with fingertips. But what if he used dots in a different way? What if he patterned their dots didn't stand for sounds at all? What if they stood for letters of the alphabet instead? There was only 26 of them after all. Louis was filled with excitement. He was sure he was right. Now he could work even harder and everything began to fall into place. First, Louis took a pencil and marked six dots on a heavy piece of paper. He called this six pattern dot a cell. It looked like this. He numbered each dot in the cell. Then he took his stylus and raised four, uh, raised dot number one. That would stand for A. He raised dots number one and two, and that would stand for B. Raised dots number one and four would be C. Louis made letter after letter, and when he was finished, Louis's real alphabet of, of dots looked like this. Louis ran his fingers over the alphabet. It was so simple. So simple. Fifteen-year-old Louis Braille felt like shouting or crying or laughing out loud. All the letters of the alphabet have been made out in the same six dots, used over and over again in different patterns. He knew it wouldn't look much of anything to be able to see, but it wasn't supposed to. It was meant to be felt quickly, easily, and it worked. And that's the end of that chapter. Okay, so originally, when he made his alphabet, W wasn't used because French don't really use, I guess the French didn't really use it, neither a bunch of other foreign countries. But someone 
told him he should add it, and eventually he did. So there you go. Bye.